Nam Jae Joon, the chief of the National Intelligence Service, told lawmakers from the National Assembly's Intelligence Committee that the 5-megawatt reactor at North Korea's Yongbyon plant has been reactivated in August. Nam Jae Joon 국가정보원장이 국회 정보위원회 전체 회의에서 북한이 지난 8월께 영변 5메가와트급 원자로의 재가동에 들어갔다고 밝혔습니다. Emeritus professors Peter Higgs and Francois Englert won the Nobel Prize in Physics for proving the existence of the Higgs boson, also called the God particle. 올해 노벨 물리학상 수상자로 신의 입자로 불리는 히그스 입자의 존재를 이겨냈던 프랑스와 앙글레르 명예교수와 피터 히그스 명예교수가 선정됐습니다. This year's APEC summit held in Bali, Indonesia came to a close with a statement expressing hope for closer economic cooperation. 인도네시아 발리에서 열린 APEC 정상회의가 어제 아태 지역 경제 완전한 통합을 희망한다는 선언문을 채택하고 폐막됐습니다. Prosecutors have begun investigations into Tongyang Group over suspicions regarding fraudulent shareholder stocks and filing for court receivership. 검찰이 동양 그룹의 사기성 회사채 기업 어음 발행 및 법정 관리 신청 의혹에 대한 본격 수사에 착수했습니다. The Ministry of Health and Welfare announced that it will provide disability pensions or survivors pensions to homemakers based on how much they have paid for state pensions. 보건복지부가 올 하반기부터 전업주부에게도 국민연금 납부 경력에 따라 장애 유족연금을 지급하기로 했습니다. It's not his mother tongue, but the director of the Center of East Asian Studies at the University of Maryland will be honored today for contributing to the study and promotion of Hangul. Robert Ramsey is a household name within the academic community for his extensive research into the Korean language and the fruits of his labor include the first history book on the subject ever written in English. Along with Ramsey, nine others will receive an order of cultural merit from the Korean government at an award ceremony today. For Kurds in Turkey, minding their P's and Q's has long meant abandoning their X's, W's and Q's. Since the early 1990s, these alphabet letters were banned in Turkey because they are associated with the Kurdish language. But the taboo against these letters has been fading, and Turkish Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan has pro proposed an end to the ban. Turks have long flouted the ban because the letters are common in English words, but they soon won't have to skirt the law to speak their own language.